It's the strangest idea in all of science. Nature is really trying to tell us something. It emerged by accident from bizarre experiments. It just didn't make any sense. People were, were very disturbed by the idea. Scientists resisted it. They tried to explain this away. But a maverick would force them to take it seriously. A man of brilliance changed everything. The idea means we live in a giant bubble. It gets hard to believe. You are just a clone. And 9-11 didn't happen. This type of thinking, it's unsettling. Crazy? Sure. But get used to it. You're living in a parallel universe. This man is about to enter a parallel universe. He's walking to work through Grand Central Terminal in New York. When suddenly, everything changes. Somehow, he slips into another parallel world in which America has been overwhelmed by a terrible disaster. Grand Central has been abandoned. The crowds are gone. And New York is controlled by vigilantes. Then just as inexplicably, he's back home. Or so he thinks. Maya down was head. Beat on it. Now he's in another parallel universe in which the Nazis won the Second World War. America is ruled by a fascist government and there's a familiar face almost everywhere. I think these other parallel worlds are just as real as this one here, which means that there also is another world where Germany won World War II and when you go to Grand Central, You'll see all sorts of paraphernalia there. For years, parallel universes have been dismissed as crazy speculation. Now, some of the world's most respected scientists claim these other worlds may actually exist. The reality that we see is only one of an infinite number of realities.